certainly been having a lot of coffee over the uh, so-called holidays. And it's been a lot been going on. Apparently, uh, what's going on the internet right now, uh, our sister uh, Lizzo, uh, out there doing what it do, and a conscious brother, a brother who is for the black man and the black woman sees right through the bullshit. Now, you might not like him. And that person who I'm talking about is Dr. The Dr. Boyce Watkins. You know, some people don't like his his views, but he is wide open. He come left field, right field, middle field, right with the truth. And he examined our situation and motivate us to be better. Especially in the financial department. That's what that's what he really specializes in. But he called out shit when he called out shit. But I got some audio from Willie D. And we're gonna go, you know, back and forth with it. And I'ma chime in with it. But let me know what y'all think about the situation. This is Azakar. Do me a favor, like this video, share, subscribe. Hit that notification icon. You will be notified every time I drop any type of content. So no further ado, let's go right on in with it. Dr. Boss Watkins. That's he. He had a lot to say That's about he. Lizzo. Yeah, yeah, come on Lizzo now. Lizzo went on social media and told Boss, keep my name out your mouth. Lizzo, as you know, is a pop phenom who has exploded onto the music scene. Exploded? And Why now? Super hot. She just played Saturday Night Live with Eddie Murphy hosting. Wow. She's on the big stage. Dr. Boyce Watkins, let me say this before I get into this video too heavy. The doc is first and foremost a friend of mine, a good friend of mine. He is absolutely necessary in the black community. He is needed. He is valuable. That's my brother. What he says has a lot of weight because he puts the work in. He's not just talking the talk. He walks the walk. He puts the work in. He definitely cares about the black community. So, and he's also a change agent. So he has paid the price to speak on anything regarding the black community. Boris has a problem with Lizzo exposing her butt cheeks and other yeah. assets. Yes. Why? And he thinks that the way she does it, the way she goes about what she does is distasteful. Okay. Willie, I'm stop right there. He also took it a step further and said the only reason why Lizzo is famous is because she's fat. Now, I'm stop right there. <laughs> And I believe uh, Willie, uh, he didn't agree a hundred percent with Boyce. As you, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box, and on that too. But I have to chime in on that too. I mean, look what look, look what kind of examples they're giving out for our black women and popularized popularity. Uh, I remember Farrakhan talking about uh, somebody. On, uh, I can't believe the black woman that was. I can't think of her name. She was on a, a talk show. Daytime and she was real big, but when she started, I guess getting knowledge of herself or looking at her health, being conscious of her health, uh, she lost a lot of weight, and the ratings went down. It's like 
you know that experiment? I don't, I, 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 can't, I, I don't recall what it is, but where people used to, well, they used to go look at the black woman and as if she was an animal because of her enlarged body parts that are so lovely, so so lovely. But they also have some that was fed to scraps. You know, we didn't have top shelf food during slavery. We had to eat chitterlings, stuff like it. So what Boyce is pointing out, he's seeing a negative image that America is portraying for black women. And black women, you should, y'all, y'all know, come on now. That is not a good look for you to be out there in public shaking your ass and such and you big as all outdoors. What kind of look is that? What kind of look is that? You can't even fit yourself on the screen, on my phone. I got to get all the way back to, to get a view. That is not healthy, sisters. That is not healthy. And, you know, they're trying to say, well, Lady Gaga did. I think, yeah, but Lady Gaga has shape. They work out. They work out, sisters. They don't eat hog maw. They don't eat pig. They don't do that. And, and, and it's not stubborn, not wanting to change, willing to change. A lot of us just don't want to change. Now, I'm not taking nothing from her. She did her thing to get where she is, but that... That thoughtness, come on, man, that ain't what it is. I, I congratulate her success, but if that's the means of her getting success, I don't think I don't want to be entertained because it equals death. But I'm going to leave a link in the description box on boys and with it be. And y'all boys, y'all can let, uh, leave me some comments and let me know what y'all think about the situation. But I'm just not feeling it. It's, it's really a, this tis, distasteful. <laughs> Me right in front of your face. This is the black woman. Boom. She don't think she like do a twerk in her ass. I don't give a damn how big she is, how small she is. She just want to show her ass. That ain't what it is, people. And, and, and like you said, intelligent black people don't even fall for that small time stuff. Peace and a bottle of hair grease.